And continuing our coverage of President Yi's trip to New York, the president held talks with the head of the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock. The two agreed to work together to strengthen South Korea's position in the global AI industry. Our presidential office correspondent Song Yoo Jin has more. Turning South Korea into Asia's AI capital. That's the vision that President Lee Jae-myung and BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, agreed to pursue together. It was the focus of Lee's first appointment in New York on Monday, a meeting with BlackRock CEO and World Economic Forum co-chair Larry Fink. Through this discussion, South Korea has taken the lead in establishing an Asia-Pacific AI infrastructure hub, positioning itself as a trusted base for global investors and companies. According to Ha, Fink expressed strong interest in investing in South Korea's AI and energy infrastructure, two of the E administration's key future growth engines. BlackRock is spearheading global investment in these areas by launching the AI infrastructure partnership with Microsoft, NVIDIA, and XAI. Those shared priorities took shape with the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding. The centerpiece is the creation of a hyperscale data center in South Korea, which can meet demand not only at home but across the Asia-Pacific region. Building this requires semiconductors, batteries, telecommunications, power, cybersecurity, and cloud technologies. Combined with renewable energy generation, storage systems, and grid infrastructure, it will revitalize Korea's industrial ecosystem while giving Korean companies a competitive edge globally. The MOU also lays the groundwork for a massive joint investment to support the APAC region's AI and renewable energy transition. While the exact amount will be decided once a joint task force is set up, the presidential office says the figure will be in the trillion won range. Later in the day, President Yi met with U.S. lawmakers urging Congress to play a more active role in advancing South Korea-U.S. relations. With diplomacy and the economy being the key themes of President Yi's visit, his first day in New York reflected just that. Now more spotlight will fall on Tuesday when the president takes part in this year's United Nations General Assembly High Level Week. Song Yujin, Arirang News, New York.